Doliolids are they're a small gelatinous animal uh, that lives in, in the water column, uh, particularly in productive areas near the continental margins. Um, and they can at times become really a dominant uh, animal consuming all the algae and productivity of that system where half the productivity of the ocean occurs, they can they bloom. And so they'd be there, there uh, can be at times a really important player in the whole system. Yeah, most people haven't heard of them um, because they occur primarily, and they never, they rarely come up to the surface, so you don't see, you can't see them from the surface. They're fairly small, you know, 10 millimeters or less. Uh, they're transparent, they're gelatinous, so you don't really see them anyway. In, in the over, our overall long-term objectives is, is to understand the role that they play uh, in these in this really important continental shelf uh, marine ecosystems. Uh, but in this particular study, what we're working on right now is we're, we're really trying to figure out what they're eating quantitatively uh, so that we can understand their trophic position uh, in marine food webs. The answer is we don't really know what they, they eat. We know that they're capable uh, of eating things, things that are as small as bacteria, uh, all the way up to much larger organisms, including the larval stages, perhaps, of, of other zooplankton, uh, other animals and species. But what they really eat, what they're really eating out there at any given time from the smorgasbord that they could possibly be eating, that's really the question. But I want to, I, I think it's important to point out that this is a very heavily field intensive uh, project. Uh, what we're doing that, that hasn't been done very much and uh, certainly uh, is needed for the kind of questions is that we're really going out to these animals and, uh, and trying to study them without having to culture them. And that's, that's really a, a, a key point of what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure out what they're really eating, not what they can eat in a laboratory setting or something like that, but what they are actually eat uh, when they're out there. Um, animals are gelatinous and so they're very delicate and it's really hard to just actually cut them open and get their gut content out. So what we do is we use molecular approaches mostly um, with DNA techniques. And so we have a suite of kits that we use to um, uh, extract all of that total DNA from that animal and therefore, or as a result, we're able to um, get at what they're eating um, in that way.